I'm here with my third bag review in two weeks. That's the result of being in quarantine because of the COVID-19 situation. And I hope you guys are safe at home. Anyways, if you guys have loads of camera gear to carry around, you probably can relate when I talk about back and knee pains. Having a roller bag to help you lug your gear around is life-changing and I would totally recommend you to get one. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Bernard and welcome to the channel. For today's video, I'll be reviewing two roller bags so you can see which is more suitable for your needs. In my previous bag comparison reviews, I usually have a clear choice for you. That's not the case this time as both bags are strong contenders and have its own merits. Since that's the case, I will highlight the pros and cons of each bag and you can make the choice based on your own priorities. Here's what I like about the Manfrotto Pro Light Reloader. Number 1. It has 4 wheels. Compared to the Ting Tang Airport Takeoff, that model has only 2 wheels. It makes a world of difference in terms of the pulling experience. Firstly, the amount of effort required to pull the Ting Tang is probably double the Manfrotto bag. Secondly, because of the way you have to pull it, which is behind you, it tends to hit your heels when you walk. Number 2. The Manfrotto has a hard shell exterior and it feels really good. It gives me the reassurance that my gear is safe even if something is not against it. This is especially so for laptop storage. The laptop sleeve in the ProLite Reloader is located inside the bag and it is protected by the hard exterior case. On the other hand, the Airport Takeoff's laptop compartment is on the outside of the bag's padding and essentially it's only cloth that is protecting the laptop. If the bag tips over, which is more likely because it has only two wheels, your laptop is more prone to damage. However, I would like to point out that the Think Tank's protection is by no means inferior and I do think that the camera gear is very safe except for the laptop. Number 3. The camera storage compartment of the Pro Light Reloader is completely removable and there are so many benefits to this feature. I could use this roller bag for non-camera items. I can use the camera insert in other bags, like my big hiking backpack. And one of my favourite hacks is to remove the camera insert at the airport check-in counter so the bag meets the carry-on weight requirements. Anyone travelling with camera gear is probably familiar with their hand carry exceeding the 7kg. Let's now talk about the key features of the airport takeoff and why it makes such a competitive choice. The biggest highlight of this bag is probably its ability to convert into a backpack. The bag has backpack straps that are tucked neatly away in this compartment in the bag. With this feature, there are a few situations that this will definitely come in handy. For example, when you are shooting on the go, it is almost impossible to film with one hand and pull your bag with the other. With the bag on your back, it frees up both hands for you to shoot comfortably. Another scenario that this will come in really handy is when you are in a location with lots of steps. If you have to carry a 10kg bag briefcase style, it won't be long before it becomes really uncomfortable. With the backpack straps, you will be able to hold this bag for an hour and still be fine. Another highlight of this bag is the lock that comes with it. Unlike the standard lock on the Manfrotto bag, the lock on the Ting Tang has a wire attached to it. You are able to secure your bag to something if you have to leave it unattended for a period of time. The third feature of the bag that stands out is the tripod attachment on the side of the bag. There aren't any special features, but it just works really well. It uses a clip, so it is very efficient and effortless to secure or remove your tripod. The Manfrotto bag on the other hand doesn't have a clip which is a slight inconvenience. It is also very convenient to remove the external straps of the Ting Tang bag. For the Manfrotto, the hook and the slot is a very tight fit and you will need a small tool to help you get the hook out. Trying to do so is an absolute nightmare. The last thing I would like to highlight about the airport takeoff will be its retractable handle. It feels really good and you can tell it's made of good quality materials. The retractable handle on the ProLite Reloader feels flimsy and doesn't work as smoothly. You can tell the difference right away. That is pretty much the pros and cons of both bags. For my personal choice, I would actually go with the Manfrotto ProLite Reloader. In my two years of owning the airport takeoff, I have only used the backpack straps twice. I will miss the lock and the retractable handle of the Ting Tang bag, but the effortless pulling experience of the Manfrotto just wins me over. On top of that, I feel like my gear is stored much more reliably, even if the handle seems more prone to malfunctioning. We have come to an end of this product review. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That's all for this video. It's a wrap!